I'm going to start by reading those items that are on consent. We have resolution RS 2020-190, Sledge, Mendez, and others. I do not see, is anyone in here that is one of the others? Not with me. Mm -mm. Yeah, I see that, but it wasn't here. But I thank you for being so helpful, sir. So we're going to carry on on that one. Okay, bill, this is number three. We're actually going to bills on second reading. This is bill 2020-153. Council Member Murphy, I do have a letter here. This is going to be deferred until February 18th. Okay, our next bill on consent is number five, Bill 2020-155, O'Connell, Murphy, and Henderson. Okay, also not here. We'll come back to that one. We have the same group for number six. I'll move on. Roberts Murphy. Number eight is BL 2020-158. I do have a letter here to approve, so we can move forward. Yep, so moved. All in favor? Any opposed? Bill passes, thank you so much. Okay, Bill 11, Bill 2020-161, that is Taylor, Murphy, and Henderson. I just saw Council Member Taylor. Where has he disappeared to? Yes, please. Okay, so we'll go, we'll start from the beginning with bills on second reading, starting with Bill 2019-60, Council Member Rutherford. Move for approval. Okay, all in favor, or can I get a motion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, bill passes. I don't see any notes. Okay, bills on third reading. BL 2019 3, Council Members Syracuse, Murphy, and others. Council Member? Are we on third reading already? Yes. <laughs> All the others were consent and none of those council members are here. Excellent. Well, I will be moving for indefinite deferral, which I can okay. give a brief explanation for. Please. So, we have I'll, let. <laughs> um, I'll explain fully on, on the floor tonight, but uh, what we were anticipating was the place economic study uh, that just came back late last week and it was not exactly what Metro Historic was expecting. Um, so there's not been a time to put a full fiscal impact and economic impact together. Um, and by the time we do that, we'll be uh, right in the middle of uh, budget season. So I thought it best to pause 
and I will bring this back after uh, budget season is over. So renew my motion for indefinite deferral. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. Can you tell me what the name of the study was that you were waiting on again? The Place Economics is the contractor that uh, Metro Historic is, is working with. Um, they've already released the, the first study that uh, we've seen about the economic impact of historic preservation. This was taking a more of a deep dive, and uh, this proposed piece of legislation was supposed to be part of that, and it wasn't exactly what they thought. So we have a little bit of work to do, so I'm going to just kick this down the road a little bit. Excellent. Thank you very much. Get a motion. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all in favor? <laughs> Opposed? Okay. Thank you all very much. Uh, wait. Councilmember O'Connell's here, I believe. Yes. So, Councilmember O'Connell, we have Bill 2020 160. And that was on the agenda for consent, but I wanted to wait until you were here. One second, let me get you on. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I would like to move approval. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Bill passes. We'll go back to bill number four. This is bill 2020-154. Also, Council Member O'Connell, Mendez, and others. And I, it says that I have a letter to approve, but I do not have it. Do you by any chance have it on you? <laughs> uh, we don't need it if I'm here, so. Okay. I'll, you can take my word for it in person. <laughs> so I would like to move approval. Well then, excellent. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Bill passes. Well, thank you all very much. The other bills, we do not have representatives here. So that concludes the planning committee for today. This has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit Nashville.gov.